Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to modify the Ronson Jet Light lighter. As it is, it's pretty good. Works really well. Um, very good for the price. Uh, it's only like $2.50 at Walmart, where I'm at. Um, very, very pleased with it at that price. With a few simple modifications, though, you can make it even better. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to start by removing this small screw down here. Set the screw aside and remove the outer case. Set that aside with a screw. Do not lose either. Now, you're going to see three pins in the hinge assembly and the body assembly. There's a pin here, here, and here. Leave this pin alone. Don't push it out, don't mess with it. You're going to want to remove these two. I'm just using a small finished nail to push them out. Punch set would be better, but I don't have one, so there it is. Okay, short pin's gonna go with the hinge assembly, and the long pin is gonna go with the body assembly up here. Okay, so now all that's connecting these two halves together is the fuel line. Gently pull the lighter apart and the fuel line will disconnect. Now, remove this spring. This spring is not needed, it's useless. It's the child safety spring, apparently. Now, be sure that you did not lose the little black rubber insert right there, the little black rubber disc right in here. If you lose that, the uh, fuse electric igniter will not work. <clears throat> so now, reassemble the lighter making sure that the fuel line reconnects right there so it reconnected now reinsert the pins in their proper place and sometimes this can take a little bit of wiggling and stuff to get them all a seat right okay perfect I've noticed that this one goes in better with the hinge facing this way Okay, so now what you've done is you've lightened up the push on this by probably 50%, so it's way easier to push down. Um, there's one more thing you can do if you want, and that is to remove the little brass keeper right here. And what this does is it limits the rotation on the fuel on the screw here, so you can only turn it like 25 or 30 degrees. <clears throat> And if you remove that, it gives you full control. So take a small flat blade screwdriver and carefully remove the O-ring. The O-ring can just go with the spring. It doesn't need to be kept. And now you need to remove this little brass piece right here. And this can be tricky sometimes. Some of them come out really easy and some of them don't. I'm actually going to switch to a knife here. Just going to work that around. Okay, that came off. Perfect. Now, Reassemble the lighter back into its case. Make sure it's flush right here. Put the screw back in. Okay. And now you have full control over the fuel. So you want to turn it way up. Big flame. Or if you want to go really small, have a little flame, you can do everything. So anyway, gives you nice options, nice little way to make it better. Um, so there you go. That's how you modify the Ronson Jet Light.